So when people are talking about getting ready for Wrath of the Lich King, especially during the pre-patch, it's normally talking about gear, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Well, we're going to talk about one specific piece of gear that you absolutely should farm. Now, most things people talk about, even that I've spoke about on the channel, are things like getting your brutal gladiator gear, because it's just going to be a case of sitting in battlegrounds, or farming badges and getting badge gear, or doing heroics, getting in some raids as quickly as possible, just to get some of these pieces. Now, whilst raiding is a great way of getting some gear during the pre-patch, it's not guaranteed. And if you're on these fresh servers where everybody wants more or less every item that drops, all items are going to be so contested that you're going to be very lucky to even get a couple of pieces. That's that's why doing battlegrounds is such a safe way because you know you're going to get honor win lose or draw then it's just the amount of hours that you're gonna to have to sink in just to be able to get all the pieces that you want but there is one particular trinket that i've mentioned briefly in a couple of different videos but i want to dedicate a full video to it even though this video probably won't be particularly long because there's not that much to talk about but in terracar forest you've got the shatari sky guard and as you know the shatari sky guard give you some rewards when you hit revered and when you hit exalted when you get to revered you're going to get the sky which is draped which which is just intellect and spell power, but it's also got sort of a parachute effect on, which is nice. And then you get the Sky Guards Drape, which is just the attack power version and does the same thing as in acting as a parachute once every 30 minutes. Guess what? That's not what we're bothered about. The trinkets at Exalted are very nice, and they're not really something that people use in PvE now, but in Wrath, when you're leveling, they're going to be exceptionally good. So if we look at Skyguard Silver Cross, it gives you crit, so 34 crit rating, and a 50% chance to increase your attack power by 140 for 30 seconds when you kill a target that gives experience or honor. Now, every mob you kill is going to give experience in Wrath, so it's going to be up a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean all the time, because if we look at the proc, the effect cannot occur more than once every 10 seconds and it's got a 50 percent prop chance with a 10 second cooldown but it lasts for 30 seconds you're going to be killing mobs so reliably and so consistently over and over again you are literally going to have the 140 attack power at all times the same applies to you casters with the airman's ribbon of gallantry where it gives you 34 crit rating and you get a 50 percent chance to increase your spell power i should probably show you the actual raft tool tip that'll probably be a bit better but yeah this one gives you 34 crit rating and a 50 percent chance to give you 80 spell power again it's got all the same rules applying that it can't occur more than once every 10 seconds and it has a 30 second uptime with a 50 percent chance to proc but again it's gonna be up all the time now a trinket with static 34 crit rating and static 80 spell power that's insane because if we actually look at some of the tbc alternatives where if you was to look at abyss list for phase five and go oh, i'm gonna try and get all my abyss i mean it's gonna be quite a outrageous goal to try and achieve but let's say you did for actually going around questing they're probably not going to be as good because briefly just looking at the attack power version again you've got 140 attack power and 34 crit if we just look at the rogue alternatives and you've got black and naru sliver which has got 54 haste and a chance to give you stacking attack power now that will proc more than likely off of one of the first mobs you kill now you've got 45 seconds where you're not getting the benefit of that attack power whatsoever even though for that one kill out of let's say eight or nine you are going to have more attack power but it's going to be fleeting amounts of attack power dragon's spine trophy is only giving you 40 static attack power opposed to 140 but you are then going to get the haste proc from it as well so don't get me wrong that is still very nice but having 140 static attack power and 34 crit at all times would be my preference and a lot easier to get and when you look at any of the others i mean shard of contempt would be the sort of one that people on fresh servers will farm because it's going to be very easy just doing mgt heroic every single day but again, you're getting 44 expertise rating, which is all right, don't get me wrong. And then you're getting that 230 attack power proc, which you're only going to have up once a minute, let's say. Whereas you take a little drop in the amount you're going to get, being 140 versus 230, but you're going to have it all the time. Berserker's Call is probably the best one to compare it to, because this gives 90 static attack power, and this is from Zola Man. But you're still going to get more from getting exalted with Skyguard. And then briefly looking at the Spellcaster version again, so we're saying 80 spell power and 34 crit. Looking at a Warlock's Biss, they're going going to get 54 haste rating and then you've got that use circle that you put down that gives you 320 spell damage on a one and a half minute cooldown quite annoying not being able to move anyway to get the bonus and then of course scholar goldan giving you 55 spell power even that is giving you less than if you was to get the skyguard trinket and the hit is going to be less important because you're not going to be fighting boss level mobs you're just going to be fighting mobs your own level maybe a level lower maybe a level higher you are going to lose that haste every two minutes you 
you're still going to gain an extra 25 static spell power and 34 crit. So I think that's pretty clear to see that just for the sake of grinding the Skyguard rep up during the pre-patch, absolutely worth doing. Now you might be like, well, there's not going to be time because it takes 28 days or whatever of doing dailies. Well, no, it don't. You could more than likely grind this reputation out in less than, let's say, eight hours. Just put Netflix on, watch some films and run around and mindlessly kill mobs. Because what you're going to be able to do is just kill all the mobs in the area, which will give you five each. The monstrous Kalaris, 10 each. Talon Swarm, Forest Rages, 30 each. You get 100 for each of the mini bosses and 500 for Terok. So what you actually do is just go around killing all of the mobs that you can see. And then you get some Shadow Dust. You hand the Shadow Dust in for reputation, which gives you 150 rep every time you hand in now you'll be able to see the spectral mobs you'll be killing those to get time lost scrolls you'll then use the time lost scrolls to summon mini bosses that give you 100 each you can turn the mini bosses little claws in and stuff like that and their beaks to get another 350 rep and then you'll get an item to summon terok which will give 500 rep each kill this can be repeated indefinitely and whilst on wowhead here it says roughly 2000 an hour especially with a dedicated group i think you can push a lot harder than that i mean i've read loads of historic posts where people are saying and they've done it in four or five hours. Some are saying six hours. Some are saying they was just doing it casually for an hour or two a night and it took them a week. You know, but it's not a massive, massive time investment. You could literally smash all this out in one sitting and get a trinket that's literally going to last you from 70 to 80 and it'll be a very good trinket. So don't sleep on this reputation. Put a few hours aside or a couple of hours a night and just get this done. I can honestly say I 100%, no matter what changes between now and sort of launch, I will be doing this farm. I will be getting this trinket because I truly believe this and another trinket which I'm going to be putting a video out about sort of a combo of the best two trinkets which will come out in the next couple of days are definitely worth getting. This one is just a grind. The other one is a small investment of gold or a grind, but I'll just be buying it. So be sure to like and subscribe. Good luck in the pre-patch if I don't see you before then, which I probably will. So be sure to like and subscribe. Check out Rested XP in the pin comment so you can level as fast as I'm going to level in the pre-patch and roll the outro. There's lots of ways you can support the channel to keep me here putting out World of Warcraft content and covering all future MMOs. Consider joining the channel as a member. You get access to emotes. Everyone will know you're a member when you comment on future videos because you get a nice icon next to your name. And you get access to members-only videos, which I'll be putting a lot of on the channel throughout the year. Additionally, there's a Patreon link in the description as well. Thank you for watching all the way to the end, and I'll see you on the next one.